We went to the Somerville Public Library to find out more about how it's funded and why it's important. We started by interviewing some library patrons to find out what the library means to them. We first asked them how often they went to the library and what they would do without it. I think I go to this library um, once every couple of weeks. About once a week? Uh, about uh, twice a week. I would have to spend a lot more money buying books all the time that I want to read um, because I wouldn't be able to just rent them. and. I would spend a lot more money on coffee because I would go to coffee shops more often to read there. It would be quite difficult because it offers an opportunity to sort of concentrate and write in a quiet space. It would be, um, I guess it's difficult because, you know, this place is a good place for me to go and um, do my work. We then talked to Kevin O'Kelly about funding and budgets. We started out by asking where the funds came from. A lot of our money comes directly from the city of Somerville, and a lot of it comes from a statewide fund called State Aid that's distributed, the money from that is distributed to towns throughout the state. Are the late fees for late books enough to cover additional costs in the library? No. Well, first of all, uh, the late fees, you know, just don't amount to that much money unless somebody keeps, say, 50 books out for like two years. Um, and uh, generally by that time they're not going to bring the books back anyway. Are you concerned at all about funding in the future? Not at the moment, no. Uh, the economy seems to be doing really well and also um, the city of Somerville, uh, both the government and the people, are really committed to the library. It's uh, recognized as a really important city institution. After that, we talked to Ward 2 Alderman Marion Houston. She told us more about library funding. I think if the budget were cut and it would not be something I would support, I think we'd see um, there would really be not just a lack of services to people, but I think um, libraries serve a very important purpose in terms of establishing a sense of place for a community and for a city, and that just like having an excellent school system and an excellent police and fire department. Libraries are part of that sort of foundation of a great city. So I think what would happen is there would be, you know, people would not have as many of the services that the library provides, the, you know, not just in terms of being a library, but also in terms of the activities that go on in the library. Um, and for people who don't have access to things like computers and et cetera, they wouldn't have a place to go. But I also think that it would hurt sort of the, the, found, the fabrication of the city. I think making the library be better would, would be able to support um, funding for expanded services, to think about the building, um, to make sure that we've got a, a good solid building for the library. And um, <clears throat> also, I think, you know, as I said, I'd love to see as we develop Union Square and we're thinking about what belongs in the square and what we could have in the square, I would love to see a branch library in Union Square that provided sort of a community meeting space function, um, places for people to meet up and to, to you know, I don't know, to access, um, you know, all the important parts of a library. We look forward to seeing what happens next with our libraries here in Somerville. For you news, signing off.